We need to write an equation that is perpendicular and parallel to this equation, negative 11y minus 6x equals 66 and passes through the point, 44, negative 3. Okay, well, with perpendicular and parallel lines, it's crucial that we figure out what the slope is. So on this one, I'm just going to change that equation into slope-intercept form, even though that technically is not standard form. So let's write that out. And the first thing I'm going to do is add 6x to both sides. So that cancels out that minus 6x. Still got the negative 11y equals, I'm going to flip those just so it's in formal slope-intercept form. And then divide everywhere by negative 11. So y equals negative 6 elevenths x minus 6. The minus 6 is not important because that's the original equation. What we want is just a slope. So for a perpendicular line, which we use this symbol right here, we want the slope to be the opposite reciprocal of this negative 6 elevenths which would give us a positive, the slope will be a positive 11 sixths. And since it gave us a point, we're going to use point slope form, which for me and most of your teachers taught this probably a little bit different, is our slope 11 sixths x minus, the x value in this case is 44. And then I add the y right here which would be plus a negative 3 or minus 3. All I need to do at this point is to distribute my x, uh, 11 sixths, I should say. So y is equal to positive 11 sixths x minus, oh man, what is that going to be? 6 times 11. Nothing good. Let's try this one. As an improper fraction, I got 242 thirds and then we're going to minus the three but I need common denominators to subtract those so I end up with y equals 11 sixths x combining that negative 420 242 rather thirds minus nine thirds gives us a negative uh, 233 thirds which is not divisible by three so this would be the equation that's perpendicular. Going, that also goes through the point 44, negative 3. My grammar. So on this next one, we want a, an equation that's going to give us a parallel lines, which means the slope is going to be the same, the negative 6 elevenths. And so we're going to use a point slope form again. Y equals the slope, negative 6 elevenths, times x minus... 44, uh, that minus should be black right there, and then uh, minus 3. So if we distribute the negative 6 elevenths, we get y is equal to negative 6 elevenths x, and this is going to be plus 24 minus the 3, which just gives us y equals negative 6 elevenths x plus 21. So there's our two equations. The red one is for parallelness, and the black one that's squared or boxed in is the perpendicularness one.